So the first thing I'm gonna do is right click on my sequence and reveal sequence in project. I'd like to do this just to make sure I'm clicking and highlighting the exact sequence that I've been working on. Once that's highlighted, I'm gonna go up to File, Project Manager. Inside the Project Manager window, you have the ability to check off any sequence that you want to move over. But in this case, I already highlighted the sequence that I wanted to move over and that came pre-checked when I opened the window. The next one you wanna look at is resulting project. You can collect files and copy to a new location or you can consolidate and transcode. What transcoding will do is chop up your clips and only export a completely new clip file for just the duration of the clip that's represented on the timeline. And if you look over here, you can include handles. So if you want to pull over to one side, 24 frames on the beginning or ending, you can do that. I really try and avoid using consolidate and transcode because it can lead to a bunch of headaches. If you have things like multicam sequences, nested sequences, After Effects projects, things can get a little dicey, especially with time remapping. I'm gonna do collect files and copy to new location. This is the same exact thing as just hitting copy and paste on just these files here on the timeline to a new location. I wanna make sure that I exclude unused clips, meaning that I'm not going to move over any of the other clips. But if you are looking to copy over every single clip from your Premiere Pro project file, then you would uncheck this. I'm going to uncheck rename media files to match clip names. You can choose your destination. I'll create a new folder on my desktop and just call it hit that like button. Hit create, choose that. You could calculate your estimated file size. For this, I'm just gonna hit okay. This operation requires it to be saved. That sounds great to me. I hit that and it analyzes your project and copies your media over. I didn't, <laughs> the crazy thing is, is I didn't speed that up at all. I, while I was, talking to you, it just did that. And I think that is kudos to the new Mac M1 Pros or whatever goes on with Apple Silicon. Like copying files internally on the computer is light speed. So if I minimize this, go to hit that like button. Now I have a copied from my project example. And here we have all of the raw files copied over and my project file inside this whole copied project example. To check this whole process to make sure it works completely fine before I send it off to someone, I like to put it on another drive and open it up and make sure that there's no media offline and zebra bars. And as you can see, everything checks out. A couple more things I'd like to address that you might have questions about with this whole process is maybe you don't want to just send this sequence, but a whole bin of clips over with your transfer. And that's easy enough to do with something called a string out. So right here I have every everything from this coffee b-roll sequence that I made. And let's say on top of this whole finished sequence, I would just wanna send over all of these b-roll clips of coffee. The most cliche thing any filmmaking YouTuber could do. So I'm going to highlight all of these clips and just drag it over to the little new icon and it creates a sequence of all of those clips. And I'm just going to reveal this sequence in project and rename it to coffee clips string out. And and just a little hack for anyone, if you want to take this sequence and have it be out in the open, just click and pull it over to the very left of all of the folders, release. And now if I undo that little arrow, it's out here in the open. Another thing I just wanna show you is I'm going to highlight this, move it over, right click, and replace with an After Effects composition. And I'll name it, hit that subscribe button. And now we have an After Effects project in here inside my coffee clip string out. I'll click on Project Manager and follow the same process as before, except now I'm going to make sure that I check off both my coffee string out sequence and my final sequence. Fast forwarding to after it's done copying over, you can see here that my hit that subscribe button After Effects file that was dynamically linked was also moved over in my copied footage. I will now click on this one and after a second, you can see that my After Effects file still there works. And I have that coffee string out. So if I go over here to this file, commercial shots, I have all of those coffee clips. But if I go to my other folders, it only uses those files from my original exported sequence. If you'd like to learn more about video editing, I have some other videos that you may wanna check out here on the side of the screen. My name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.